first of all open blender on your computer and remove the light and the default cube now select the camera and make a few adjustment to its location and rotation values change its y axis location to minus 30 meters then press 0 for full camera view make sure the camera is selected go to the object data properties and increase the focal length of the camera to 420 mm now press shift plus a and add a bezier curve into the viewport press tab for edit mode and press delete and dissolve vertices now with the help of the draw tool draw some random uneven lines now select the move tool and in the and in the bezier curve properties increase the resolution and render value to 64 respectively under geometry increase the extrude value to 0.05 and the depth to 0.05 also now you can see that uh, there are a few curves which are overlapping each other so we should try to fix them After you are done come back again to the solid mode then increase the resolution value of the bevel depth to 32 for a smoother output select profile and change the default preset to crown molding select sample straight edges and sample even lengths Now come back again to the object properties and make a few adjustment to the rotation and scale values of the curve. Now go to modifier properties and uh, add an array modifier. Increase the count to two. Uncheck relative offset and check constant offset. And adjust it y, x, y, and z axis distance to give a proper look to the scene. go to render properties and change the render engine from ev to cycles select cpu or gpu 
enter viewport and render max samples to 32 and 250 respectively. Under color management, change the look to very high contrast and in world properties, reduce the color to all the way black. Now again, press Shift plus A and add a plane into the viewport. Press 7 for top view and tap for edit mode and then scale the plane in such a way that it covers the whole area of the Bezier curve. Now move it upwards in Z axis. Duplicate it and move it downwards in Z axis. Again duplicate and rotate it 90 degrees in X axis and move it backwards in such a way that it serves as a background for the scene. Now head over to material properties, press new to add a new material, scroll down and under emission increase the strength to 1.5. Now head over to rendered mode to get a look of the scene. Hide the overlays. Press Ctrl plus B and drag to select the render engine. Not for adding materials, we need to move over to shader editor. Select the Bezier curve and add a new material. Remove the principal BSDF shader and add a mixed shader. Press Shift plus A to add a Add Shader node and join it to the Mix Shader. Then add a Glass Shader. Then add a Glass BSDF node and join it to the Mix Shader. Duplicate the Add Shader node one time and join it to the previous Shader node and duplicate the glass BSDF shader three more times and join them to their respective shader. Change the color of the glass BSDF shaders to red, green and blue. Also increase the roughness to 0.15 for each glass shader. Change the index of reflection for the red one to 1.4 and for the blue one to 1.5. Now add a fractional node and join to the mix shader. Make a few adjustment before rendering out the image.
After do you are done adjusting the scene, press the render button to render out the image. The process of rendering out an image depends upon how powerful the hardware capabilities of your computer are. So depending upon your computer, this may take some time. After the image is rendered, click on image and save it to a desired location on your PC. And so that's enough for today's video. Hope you all guys enjoyed. Thanks to everyone who watched the video till the end. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.